Hi boys and girls and how are you doing today? It is day two of our reading marathon. Yes, and yesterday we have enjoyed the stories. So before I start my story, I will do roll call, okay? Zeta, Zenaya, Tishon, Dishen, Shanika, Hamal, Azaria, Kimora, Alia, Phoenicia, Kemri, Amaya, Selena, Ethan, and Maya. And remember our three friends, Tamaya, Shalisa, and Mahali? Right. So now the title of my story is Kiara's Kite. And it is written by Cassandra Smith and illustrated by Laura McNeil. And they are our local author and illustrator. Yes, they are Grenadians. Kite season is here. Big kites, small kites, and even smaller kites line the sky. Zoom goes the bamboo kite. Zzz goes the flexi kite. Everyone is happy. But Kiara is not happy. This year, Kiara has no money to buy a kite. I am still going to fly a kite, says Kiara. I will make one. First, Kiara tries to use a plastic bag, but it flies away. Wait, come back, yells Kiara. Then, Kiara tries to use a tablecloth, but it was too heavy. Oh no, says Kiara. Next, Kiara tries a cardboard box. She can't figure out how to make a kite, how to make it into a kite. Not again, says Kiara. Kiara is sad. She sits under a cocoa tree, but then an idea pops into Kiara's head. She climbs up the tree. She picks one leaf, two leaves, three leaves. Then Kiara hurries home. Now she waits for the wind. A little breeze comes, a bigger breeze, and an even bigger breeze. Wow! Kiara's kite flies into the sky. Kiara's heart flies too, just like a pretty cocoriggy kite. The end. So today we are going to hear three stories from three more students. So we're going to hear stories today from Tishon, Phoenicia, and Selena. So, Tishon, go right ahead with your story. People I like. I like my daddy. He is strong and he has long hands. Long, long arm to hold me. I like my granddad. He is, is kind and he does not mind if I am noisy. I like my grandmother. Grandma. Grandma. She is small but she has all the time in the world for me. Thank you, Tishon, for your lovely story. Now we are going to hear a story from Selena. My name is Selena Garcia. The title of the book is The Carrot Seed. A little boy planted a carrot seed. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. His father 
will say, I'm afraid it won't come off. Uh, and his big brother said, uh, it won't come off. Every day, the little boy can pull up the weeds around the seed and sprinkle the ground with water. But nothing came up. Everyone kept saying it won't come up. But he's still still. Thank you, Selena, for your lovely story. Now we are going to hear a story from Phoenicia. And Phoenicia is going to share with us today about Brother Dog and the Bone. Remember we heard that story yesterday from Alia? Well, Phoenicia is also going to do that story for us today. Go right ahead, Phoenicia. This is my story, Brother Dog and the Bone. Brother Dog had a big bone. He took his bone to the, in the river. Brother Dog saw a dog in the river. The dog in the river had a big bone too. Brother Dog was greedy. He had one bone. He wanted two bones. Brother Dog back at the dog in the river. Splash his bone fell in the river. Brother Dog was sad. He said, no, I have no bone. Thank you so very much, Phoenicia, for that lovely story. Thank you so much to Tishon, Selena, and Phoenicia for being a part of day two of our reading marathon. Tomorrow for day three, we are going to hear stories from Shanika, Maya, and Kimora. Guys, have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye.